Well, let's talk about your time here at Today Show. You were here 15 years. Yeah. Nine of them, your partner was Matt Lauer. You talk about the book wrestling with, trying to come to terms with the accusations against him. What did you ultimately conclude? Um, you know, that was really, really hard. And it took me a long time to process what was going on because the side of Matt I knew was the side of Matt I think you all knew. He was kind and generous and considerate, uh, a good colleague. And, you know, as I got more information and learned what was going on behind the scenes, it was really upsetting and disturbing. And I think I, and, and then I did some of my own reporting. I talked to people. I really tried to excavate what had been going on. And, you know, it was, it was really devastating, but also disgusting. And, uh, you know, I think what I realized is there was a side of Matt I never really knew. And I tried to understand why he behaved the way he did and why he was so reckless and callous and honestly abusive to other women. Were there things that you, in the course of writing this book, you looked back on stories or memories that you came to see in a different light? Well, you know, there's always gossip in television news, and I think there was gossip here and there about certain people. And, you know, I think it was a very permissive environment in the 90s, and I think permissive environments often result in, in serious transgressions. And, uh, you know, I think back then it was sort of like you felt like it was none of your business, and nobody ever came to me to talk to me about it. And I think our notion of what a consensual relationship has changed dramatically. And you have to consider the power dynamics. I'm sure you've learned a lot about this too. You talked about um, after his firing, um, whether to, grappling with whether to continue that friendship. And you even include your actual text messages that you had with yeah. Matt, you kept them. Where does that relationship stand now? We have no relationship. You know, I think I used those text messages because I thought they were very illustrative of how our relationship devolved and ultimately deteriorated. Um, so, so I thought that was a powerful way to kind of really let the reader in to my thought process. And as I got more and more information, how it was harder and harder for me to reconcile these two sides. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.